අපි බැලුවොත් ඩිෆරෙන්සියේෂන් ප්‍රොබ්ලම් එක කොහොමද අපිට හම්බෙන්නේ කම්බයින් මැත්ස් පේප් එකේ ක්වෙස්චන් නම්බර් 14 එකෙන් තමයි අපිට ක්වෙස්චන් නම්බර් 14 තමයි ඩිෆරෙන්සියේෂන් වලට තියෙන ක්වෙස්චන් එක ඒකේ තියෙන පාට්ස් දෙකක් ඩිෆරෙන්සියේෂන් ග්‍රාෆ් අන්ඩර් සිම්පල් A දැන් ඩිෆරෙන්සියේෂන් ඇප්ලිකේෂන් අන්ඩර් සිම්පල් B දැන් we have a differentiation application problem given under first part first paper part a so in this session we are going to discuss that question regarding curves parametric equations how to apply chain rule using those theories how to find tangent normal and their equations those are the areas that we are going to cover today during this seminar මුලින්ම අපි බලමු මොකනවද මේ තියරිස් පහක් මම කිව්වා මොනවද මේ තියරිස් පහ කියලා පාට් බයි පාට් first one is chain rule chain rule and parametric equations i'm going to discuss both of them together let's say we have a curve where the function is given using two equations x equal sin t y equal minus cos t equation of a curve is given using two equations that means we can't write one equation for the curve we have to use an additional variable t so that variable t is called a parameter parameter so using that parameter or using a particular parameter expressing a function with two equations that is called parametric equations we can differentiate these functions with respect to t let's differentiate this with respect to t first one is x equal sin t differentiate x function x with respect to t dx over dt what is the derivative of sin cos cos t then differentiate function y dy with respect to t dy over dt minus differentiation of cos is minus sin then minus minus become plus but in the question they are asking dy over dx because derivative is dy over dx but we have dy over dt dx over dt two derivatives with respect to t subject is t now we have to convert this subject to x how to do that that is called chain rule the rule we are using here is called called chain rule dy over dt we have dy over dt but for the denominator we want dx we want dx dt we have to cancel because we we have to cancel dt then i can put dt in numerator then we can cancel this dt in denominator with dt in numerator then finally we have dy over dx so this is this simple idea is called chain rule and chain rule kela meka mehema dt dt cancel vela final result eka dy over dx enawa kiyana ek api simply e moluwata da gattata attatama eka neme mathematically wenne mathematically eke loku process ekak thiyenawa apita lakunu 25 ganna paper ekata answer eka ganna e e de dana ganna awashya naha hinda man ekata kaliya nasti karanna naha ani kan ol simply da ganna mokada kawuruth ahanna naha meka prove karanna you have to apply chain rule and do the calculation in the proof ekak onna thinda meka kiyala oluwata da ganna liya ganna habai mathematically meke meeta wediya gemburu arthayak thiyena now i can substitute dy over dt what is that plus sin t then here dt over dx dt over dx is the reciprocal of dx over dt so we have to consider 
reciprocal cos t is 1 over cos t then sin over cos is tan so tan t is the derivative of this function given by two parametric equations parametric equations kiyana monawada kiyala api start ekey di katha kara එතකොට අපේ අද සෙෂන් එකේ ෆස්ට් පාට් එක පැරාමෙට්‍රික් ඊක්වේෂන්ස් දැන් චේන් රූල් පාට් එකක් අපි ඩිස්කස් කරා දැන් බලමු 3rd 4th 5th ටැන්ජන්ට් නෝමල් ඇන්ඩ් හව් ටු ෆයින්ඩ් ඩ කෝඩිනේට් Okay, let's say now we have a function y equal 3 x square plus x so this is not a parametric equation because we have only x and y there is no additional variable such as theta t we have only x and y now we can differentiate this directly dy over dx is 6x plus 1 So what is the meaning of dy over dx? What is the meaning of derivative? That is very important. dy over dx kya ne mukakte? dy over dx is the gradient of the tangent. Gradient of the tangent, which we can draw for a particular curve. Ek toh main idea hai. Let's say we have a curve like this. Uh, the function of the curve is 3x square plus x this is the curve this is the curve then we can construct so many tangents for this curve at different different points i can take this point p and draw a tangent so this is the tangent From your levels, you know how to draw a tangent. Touching the curve at P. Then again, I can draw another tangent. Let's say this point is Q. At Q also. Then it is something like this tangent. So you can see the straight line. The nature of the straight line varies. but both tangents are drawn to the same equation both tangents are drawn to the same function with same equation but they are different different in direction please mute your microphones okay then for a straight line there is a gradient and the coordinate geometry you know y equal mx plus c is the general equation the simplest equation for a straight line m is gradient c is intercept we are dealing with m in this chapter gradient so the gradient of this tangent is different to the gradient of this tangent so dx is the gradient of the tangent which we can draw for this function but at different locations we can draw different different tangents then how to find the gradient of this tangent at p how to find the gradient of the tangent at q for that we have to substitute the coordinates of this particular point for our gradient dy over dx okay i repeat gradient of the tangents which we can draw for a particular curve is given by derivative of this function which is dy over dx so that is in terms of x we can substitute different values for this x and obtain different different gradients 
when they ask for a gradient at a particular point, let's say when x equals 2, I can substitute x equal 2 here, and its value is 13, then gradient of the tangent drawn when x equal 2 is 13. That is the idea. Function ne differentiate karaku hama in me gradient taker. Abai me mulu function ne karama mulu curve ne karama tiye na general gradient taka k in me. A general gradient taka x value k ke value substitute karaku hama apita avashya tena na apita ona tena required point taka gradient taka ganne pulva. Okay. Then let's say we have obtained the gradient of this gradient to this curve at point P. Let's say we are given the coordinate of point P as 2 comma minus 1. 2 comma minus 1. Then I can find the gradient at P where x value is 2. That is 6 times 2 plus 1 which is 13. So the gradient is 13. Then we can find the equation of this tangent. Equation of this tangent. For that, we have to use this formula. Y minus Y1 equal in gradient times X minus X1. This is from coordinate geometry, straight line lesson making. To find the equation of a straight line, we must know gradient of the straight line as well as one point on that line. So this is that point, 2 comma minus 1. x1, y1 denote these coordinate values. m is the gradient. Now you can substitute for this equation y minus, what is our y coordinate at p minus 1, so minus minus p become plus. What is m gradient 13? x minus what is the x-coordinate value? That is 2. Now you can simplify this. That is 13 x minus 26. Take this plus 1 here. That become minus 27. So this is the equation of the tangent drawn to the curve at P. Curve at a particular point like P. Coordinate will be given. First step is to differentiate and find the general gradient of this entire curve, then you can substitute the relevant x value to find the gradient of the tangent at the point we asked. Once is 13. Then we can use this equation from coordinate geometry to find its equation. Now, fourth part. We have to identify the gradient of the normal drawn to the curve at P. Normal. Normal means a perpendicular line. So tangent and I can draw a normal to the tangent. This is our normal. This is our tangent. Okay. From the diagram you can see Tangent and normal are perpendicular. Tangent, normal are perpendicular. Gradient of tangent, I'll take that as M1. Then gradient of normal as M2. From coordinate geometry, you should know product of two gradients, product of two gradients of two perpendicular straight lines is equal to minus 1. Is equal to minus 1. So here I am giving you a basic idea of our topic, differentiation application. After discussing these basics, I am going to uh, discuss some examples and after that, pass paper question. So take this introduction very well. Listen carefully. Product of gradients of lines which are perpendicular, that is minus 1. So, if we know the gradient of our tangent, using this relationship, we can find the gradient of the normal, which is M2. 
gradient of the tangent at P already calculated, that is 13. From this, you can say gradient of the normal least, gradient of the normal least minus one into reciprocal of this. How? We want M2, that is minus one over M1. So keep in mind, gradient of the normal, if we know the gradient of tangent is minus one reciprocal of this value, that is minus one over 13. That is the gradient of the normal drawn to the same point, huh? very important. Now we can use this same equation, same equation, to find equation of this normal, equation of the normal. We have our gradient minus one over 13, x1, y1, the coordinate. So we can substitute any coordinate which is on our normal because we are calculating the equation of the normal. Then we can substitute any coordinate on that particular line which is 2 comma minus 1, y minus minus 1 is y plus 1, equal, what is our m? Minus 1 over 13, x minus, x coordinate is 2. You can simplify this and find the equation of the normal as well. 